Um, in today's video, we are going to be ranking the Next Step Dance Captains. Decided to do another ranking video because I think they're going down quite well, so let's do another one. So this, so I'm going to be ranking the Dance Captains from best, good, average, bad, terrible. Emily, we're going to start with Emily. I think was probably one of the best because she really did. In season one, she wasn't great, but she actually did sort of learn from her mistakes and realize she actually does have to get on with these dancers in order to be a good dance captain, and she achieved it. In season two, she was literally a lot better than Michelle was, even though they were like co captains. Michelle was very inclusive, but sometimes she could be a bit too inclusive, but working with Emily made her a little bit stricter. So I'm just going to put her in good, because I'm not actually convinced she was better than Emily. Giselle was just average, because you didn't really see her do loads of dance captain duties. Like, she had to work hard to be good at it, and that kind of thing, but... The only thing we saw her do was take Riley's solo spot at internationals. It's like the only dance captain thing we saw. Skylar was a good dance captain because she had to sort of, she knew she couldn't mess up because everyone was sort of depending on her. And she's had to work hard to find her place at the studio. So I'm going to say good for Skylar because she wasn't the most legendary, like the best, best dance captain. Maybe if she'd been dance captain longer, I would have agreed, but not really because she only did it in season four. Rochelle. I think Rochelle was quite good. She's not the best, but she's, so I'm going to just pop her in good. But she sort of she had good leadership skills she just could have do with being a tiny bit less strict but she did want the team to win and she made sure that happened and she would keep the next step on track like that was a good thing that she actually stepped before she started coming up with like random stuff just to get dance captain. Piper, she came, is good because she came up with the idea to do the dance a thon and helping people. She likes helping people and she's a fan of injustice, pretty sure. So she was quite a good dance captain, but she didn't have it for very long. Noah's the best because he's inclusive, authoritative, objective rather than subjective and he was actually gets on really well with the dancers, he's very inclusive. Like in the A side freestyle dance, he was making sure each dancer had their chance to dance and their time to shine. And he know, knew both East and West dancers. Lily, I'd say she wasn't, she was bad because she got Piper kicked off the team. I know part of that was down to her mum, like not all of it. We can blame on Lily, but she wasn't great. Like, that's the fact. Summer, I'd say summer's bad as well because i just think she's always going backwards like she went goes from being inclusive way too inclusive like michelle is so then being able to critique and then not again and i think part of that could be the writers but i'm just not convinced sorry nearly dropped my phone but I'm actually not convinced that Summer's the best choice for dance captain. I think Michelle fought for the best dance, so to be honest, I just don't think Summer's the best dance captain. So that's it for this video. Bye.